What's going on, guys? How are you doing today? Today we're going to go over some more of the Rise of Skywalker novelization. Took the jacket off there because it was annoying. Uh, today this book comes out for sale. So if you want to see more or read more about the novel or about the movie from the novel, feel free. Today's video is going to go over something that I thought was very interesting regarding the movie. We got a 15 to 20 second flashback scene of Luke training Leia, and it was really beautiful. Like, it really reminded me of the uh, original trilogy, and it showed, you know, a, a, like a, a younger Luke and a younger Leia, and he had his green lightsaber, she had her blue. This book goes into great detail regarding that fight and her overall training in general when she was with Luke. So let's dive right into it. Top of page nine. If you want to freeze frame there. There we go. And maybe that's exactly what Ray needed. Training in the force not from a formal master, but rather someone grounded in the everyday minutia of life and survival. Obi-Wan had failed to keep Vader from the dark side. Luke had failed the same way with Ben. She could not fail Ray. Insects sang as she walked. Birds warbled overhead, and tiny amphibians trilled their mating calls. Odd how such a raucous place could be so peaceful. The noise was so loud, so ever-present, and so soothing. It was almost as perfect as silence. Many years ago, not long after the Battle of Endor, she discovered the meditative power of sound. She and Luke had stolen away for some training, and somehow she'd ended up standing on her hands while Luke slung good-natured taunts her way. Even with help from the Force, her shoulders had started to burn. Her arms wobble. They'd already spent the last hour sparring with their lightsabers, and her body was exhausted. You know, Luke had said, his voice smug, when I did this on Dagobah, Yoda was sitting on my feet. He said that a lot back then, when I did this on Dagobah. It was obnoxious and completely unhelpful, so Leia reminded him. You're being obnoxious and completely unhelpful. I also did it on one hand. He added. He was trying to provoke her, to teach her a lesson about anger and impatience and all that nonsense. Luke had forgotten that his student was a superb strategist who'd already benefited from a royal education. Leia would not be provoked. Instead, she considered. She reached out to the Force, let it flow through her like blood in her veins. A tiny insect began rubbing its mandibles together, whistling a sweet high song. Some instinct guided her, and Leia focused on the sound. It was beautiful, pure, ethereal, completely unethered to the worries of leadership and teaching, failure and learning. With focus and with delight, Leia raised herself off the ground. She floated upside down, feet pointed to the sky. After a moment, she lifted her arms and held them parallel to the ground. But she was just a student, new to the ways of the Force, and when she came back to herself, fully realized what she'd done, she whipped her hands back down, lest she fall. She did it just in time. Her form collapsed, and she found herself kneeling in mud. No matter. She'd do better next time. Leia looked up to find Luke staring at her, mouth open. Did you ever do that with Yoda? She couldn't resist asking. He shook his head wordlessly. I can do better, she insisted. Float longer. Luke found his voice. You're going to make me a better teacher, he said. Not the response she'd expected. What do you mean? He reached down, helped her up. Your footwork is terrible, he said. Don't get me wrong, your lightsaber craft is coming along. But you do other things, naturally. His face turned apologetic. What I mean is, you're exceptional, just different. Then... He had smiled with that wide farm boy grin that had stayed with him all the way up until the night of Ben's betrayal. Leia shook off the memory with effort. Memories were coming fast and vivid these days. She was glad for this one, though. It would be the key to training Rey. Leia and Rey were different, the last remnants of a dead order, and together they would carve a new path. So, I guess uh, it's confirmation that Leia is actually stronger than Luke if she had trained to her full potential. And this isn't really new. This isn't a new thing. This is actually something that was in Legends back when George was in charge. There was uh, there were plenty of... Uh, I forgot the name of these comics. It's like these, these variant comics of... It's like a what if... The whole thing is like a fan fiction book. I have it in the other room. And uh, like one, one second... There's so many different stories. And one of them is Leia being trained by Yoda. And she is exceptionally powerful. So... 
I think they're just taking from different sources and different things that, you know, are legends and, and throwing them in there. So to me, that's no surprise. I know to a lot of people it will be a surprise, but Leia was exceptionally powerful in the Force. She just chose a different path of life, right? But she had that latent Force ability within her that if she actually trained, she would have been amazing. So um, that's this piece in the book. I hope that they actually created that in a CGI edit, you know, in mocap and all that stuff, and maybe they'll release it one day. Uh, don't get your hopes up, but, I mean, we can hope, <laughs> right? That's, that's pretty much the main theme of Star Wars, hope, sort of. Okay, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think below about this stuff, and uh, have an awesome rest of your day. May the Force be with you.